big me up there, hasn't she? I'm a bit nervous now. Okay, so reimagining learning one passion at a time. The older our students get and the higher the grade they enter, the more they become conditioned to this type of learning and the less agency they have over their learning. And what about the student who has a passion? Do they put it on one side? Do they drop it? Or do they try and juggle it with their everyday school commitments? Well, at our school, we're trying something new for a handful of our students. We are reimagining what learning looks like. We are giving them time to pursue their interests by dropping some of their conventional classes. About one-fifth of their classes, about 20% of their time. Now, that's probably sounding a little bit familiar to some of you. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about my four students. I have a programmer. He's passionate about programming and wants to join the computer industry. Then there's my artist. She, too, is an impassioned programmer. She loves to draw, she loves gaming, she loves those epic wins. And then there is my dancer. He loves to dance, he loves to choreograph, and he loves to teach. And finally, my photojournalist. So what is this program all about? Perhaps I shall tell you what it is not. No common assessment, no deadlines, no schemes of work, no standards, and no exit examinations. Self-directed learning. This is what happens. The kids come to me. They tell me what they want to learn. They go and learn it. And they come back later and show me what they've learned. And after two years, we'll give them credit for their passion. Sounds like a dream job, doesn't it? Check in with the kids. Voila, my job is done. Three months in, I'm ready to throw in the towel. This is really, really challenging. Honestly, organizing one of these conferences is nothing compared to this. I really think I'd like to pick up a conventional class. You see, our students are so conditioned. They are told what to learn. They turn up to a class. Perhaps they're given some options so they can pursue some of their interests. But by and large, at the end of the day, they are assessed with the same criteria as the others and given a score. I need to recondition my students. And that's hard. We've shifted the responsibility of the curriculum development and design over to the students. How does a 16-year-old design, develop, craft, and assess their own learning. And here's the bigger challenge. I need to recondition myself. And for those of you who know me, quite a few of you, giving up control is kind of a little bit hard for me. Uh, so instead of me telling the students what to do, I now have to say to the students, what is it that you want to learn, and why, and how? My role is to help the students. And honestly, I'm no expert in any of those classes except for those, that 1980s programming. Got a bit of that. I therefore need to help my students find their own experts who can guide them. Find their own mentors to help them plan out their journey. And sometimes they need the experience of the real world. So they might get an internship. For example, my programmer, he's joining the development team, a development team at Microsoft. And like many jobs today, he doesn't have to turn up physically because it's a virtual position, any time, any place, anywhere. And that fits him pr pretty well with his conventional classes. My dancer, he is going to be teaching a grade nine class. Let's think about that. A grade 11 teaching a grade nine class how cool is that? 
So in a nutshell, this is my role. I have to help the students formulate their goals. I have to help them be organized, show them how to collaborate, show them how to communicate, help them deal with the ambiguity and the uncertainty, help them make those valuable connections, help them evaluate their learning, and yes, this is a massive challenge. And then you might think, what happens after two or so years if their passion wanes and dies? Well, that's OK, because if I've done my job correctly, by now they should have the tools and the skills and the maturity to go and learn something new. So here's my call to you. Do you need to recondition your students do you need to recondition yourselves? Do you need to reimagine what learning looks like? Perhaps like me, one passion at a time. Thank you.